Welcome to Forza 4 Car Reviews Episode 1. Today we are in the Acura NSX. It appears that my fan base like this car, so I decided to do this pilot episode on this vehicle. My first impression is I really do like the look of this car. I think it looks aerodynamically advanced and sleek. I very much like the interior as you'll see in a moment. Nicely styled, nice colours, nice finishes. Very nice. Alright, let's go for a drive. Right off the bat, the pull-off isn't actually as good as I hoped. First gear seems a little bit too high and no matter how much I've adjusted it, it just spins way too much. Bear in mind, I do not use traction control. In this particular drive, I have set the aerodynamics to full downforce. Cornering really isn't bad at all. I think it can actually keep up with the 2016 Dodge Viper ACR. Overall acceleration is actually quite comparable to the Viper as well. It is pretty quick, but like I said, the pullaway isn't as good as I hoped. It does feel a little bit more stable than the Viper though, so that is a bonus. Right, let's turn around. This is the go-to route I take to test my cars. Every time I modify them, I come on this particular route to test the top speed, acceleration and maneuverability. Braking as well. I must say, it does get some getting used to 9 gears. I've never ever driven a car like that before. I think the most gears I've ever driven is 6. Honestly, I can't say I actually like it. It gives the driver more workload. which of course can be a distraction overall. I think in this case it's just a matter of getting used to it. Whoa, that was close. Right, let's fast forward to the highway. I'm going to try first with full downforce. It is tradition to hoot in a tunnel. Ok, so obviously the ninth gear is the cruising gear, not top speed gear. That might change with no downforce. Three thirty eight point five four kilometers an hour, really not bad.
brake test. Brakes are quite impressive. This is the uphill challenge. This is where most cars lose power. I must say I am impressed. Okay, let's reduce downforce. This is to see how fast I can really get it. Okay, let's see what this baby can do. There is an immediate difference with the acceleration. Top end really isn't that bad. Three fifty five point five one kilometers an hour. Definitely not the fastest I've driven, but really not bad. I get the impression the focus of this car was more maneuverability than top bend. Corner is always a good to test. My final take on this car, it has actually really impressed me. Easy to drive, quick, good maneuverability, good brakes, all right top end, all right acceleration. Really not bad. Of course there had to be a collision some point in this video. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.